Hi everyone, Joe here. Are you down big this year? If you are sitting on heavy losses, it's not because of this terrible bear market. It really isn't. I hate to break it to you. It's because you are making one of these three rookie mistakes. In fact, you might be making all three of them. Goodness knows, 25 years ago when I started investing, I was doing making these mistakes consistently and my account was like a roller coaster. So let me show you these three, um, let me reveal these three mistakes to you and let's stop doing them, all right? So here's the first one. First one is to buy, is buying stocks when they're going down. This bear market has been the bottom fisher buster, hasn't it? People say, well, company X is a great company at $100. It's even better at 75, they buy it. Now, then it goes down to 50. Well, it's an even better value now. I'll buy it at 50 and then 25 and then 15 and then 10, etc. One of the cardinal rules of investing is we buy stocks in um, uptrends. So a downtrend is called stage four. You want to buy stocks <clears throat> when they're in a stage two uptrend or when they are just moving out of stage one into stage two. A body in motion tends to stay in motion. If a stock's gonna go down, it's gonna tend to continue to go down until there's a really big major catalyst that will reverse it in the other direction. Conversely, a stock that's going up, it's gonna tend to keep trending upward. So let's stop buying, um, trying to bottom fish these falling knives. That was a terrible mixed metaphor, wasn't it? Now there's a difference between um, trying to buy stocks on the way down and buying stocks that are near all-time highs after they do like a three to five percent pullback back to a proper pivot point. That's perfectly okay. That's beyond the scope of this video. That is mistake number one, buying stocks that are going down. Mistake number two, holding on to losses. Every big loss starts as a small loss. And I know a lot of us, we buy something thinking it's going to go up and then it starts to go down a little bit, but we don't want to admit we are wrong. We don't want to take a loss in our account. So we hold it and then pretty soon we're praying, just please get back up to my buy point. I will sell it then. And then all of a sudden we're down 50%. And then what do we do? Do we sell it there? No. We say, well, it's okay. I'm an investor. I'm holding it long term. So you suddenly turn from a trader into an investor, but guess what? Some of these stocks are going to stay down for three years, five years, 10 years. Some of these stocks may never get back to their all time high again. So sell stocks for a small loss, get yourself, put a sell stop on five to 10, three to 10%. That means you got to be really precise with your entry points and sell incrementally. If you buy a breakout and it starts to squat, sell a third or sell half. If it pulls back into the pattern, sell a third, sell half. Sell half at a 5% loss, sell the other half at, the 10, at a 10% loss, etc. Now, if you're sitting on big losses, you are in a no-win situation. Um, and you are darned if you sell and darned if you don't sell. Personally, what I do as soon as I realize I've made the mistake of holding a stock too long, I sell. I cut back and I sell. Here's rule number three, <clears throat> not nailing down profits when you have them. Being up big and giving it all back. This means you gotta act like a professional mutual fund manager and sell into strength. When a manager is um, buying and selling millions of shares. When they're selling millions of shares, they can't sell it on the way down. That's going to tank the stock price. They've got to sell it um, as the stock is running up. And we, um, even if you're only trading 100 shares, 10 shares, one share, you want to sell into strength. When a stock starts to get parabolic, stretched, overbought, then you start trimming. Um, you know, if it's up 15% in three days or something, then sell a third or sell a half. Get up 50%, sell a little more. Get up 100%, 
sell more. What happens if you sell and then a stock keeps going up? You know what? Oh well, you walked away a winner. You increased your account balance. You're closer to your goal. And when that stock makes a new base and sets up again, guess what? You can buy back in. You know, Tesla went up a thousand percent in what was it, 2020? But it set up multiple times. There were five or six times that year that you could have moved back into the stock had you trimmed. The worst thing in the world, psychologically and financially, is for you to um, round trip a stock where you're up 50% and then it comes all the way down and then below your initial cost basis. That will mess up your head and you're going to be just treading water or going in reverse. So I hope that those, hold on, I got to plan my conclusion. Let me think a minute. So first of all, if you found that helpful, um, there's a super thanks button beneath the video. You certainly can push that and support my channel or you can buy me a coffee. Link in the description below. So let's all of us, myself included, work on avoiding these three mistakes. This is easier said than done. Um, even now, 25 years after I started doing this, every once in a while I catch myself making one of these three mistakes. If you are not doing any of these three, you are probably down less than 10%. You might even be up on the year. And let me tell you, when that bull market swings back around, and it's going to in the next few days or weeks or months, it's coming. If you can avoid these three mistakes consistently, you are going to have huge, um, huge performance numbers. I'm talking triple digits. I've done it before and you can do it too. Okay, that's it. Let me know your comments below. Take care, everybody.